My name is Lama Pema Chopel. Some of you may <coughs> also know me as Bob Flaws, although it's been a number of years since I've used that name. I am a Lama of the Nyingma order of Tibetan Buddhism. I became a Tibetan Buddhist uh, 47 or 48 years ago. And uh, I actually got into Chinese medicine only because 40 some years ago, there was no way, practical way, for me to study Tibetan medicine. Uh, there, there were language issues and uh, there just wasn't any training set up for uh, Westerners like myself. So I uh, studied Chinese medicine as a default, as a second choice, realizing, knowing that they are kissing cousins, that they are very closely related to each other. In fact, uh, in China, Chinese people, not Tibetans, but Chinese people will say that Tibetan medicine is a minority version of Chinese medicine. Tibetans don't like that very much, but that's OK. Uh, as I said this morning, I'm not really going to talk much about the therapeutic uh, side of Tibetan medicine in terms of points or moxa or herbs or whatever. M my interest is, in, is entirely uh, in going beyond where Chinese medicine leaves off. That uh, this morning, Volker was saying that the hallmark of Chinese medicine is holism. And I, I agree with that entirely. But holism, only up to a certain level. Chinese medicine, the, the main strand, the, the, the dominant strand of Chinese medicine, the, 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 the style of Chinese medicine, which is the standard style taught at the provincial medical colleges in China, the style that is promoted by the Depart Ministry of Health in the People's Republic of China, is very much a naturalist medicine. It's based on the natural world and does not really deal with what I would consider spiritual issues. Uh, and also another word that's very similar to spiritual, spiritist issues. And I'll, I'll say more about those two things uh, in, a, in a bit. Um, Tibetan medicine is a part of Tibetan Buddhism. In Tibetan Buddhism, Tibetan medicine is, is a lineage of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. You can't really study Tibetan medicine without studying uh, Tibetan Buddhism. So the spiritual teachings of Tibetan medicine are absolutely an, an integral part of an integral part of that system of medicine. Traditionally, Tibetan doctors uh, were either monks, meaning a celibate uh, monastic monk or nun, uh, or they were lamas. And uh, lama may or may not be celibate. Uh, I'm not celibate. Uh, I'm married. So in my order, mostly uh, we, lamas are, tend to be married. 